Hi, I'm Karen Boniker, Painter Master Elite, and I'd like to show you today how to create a sketch in Painter Essentials 6. To begin, to begin with, go ahead and open the image that you're going to be using. In this case, you can see that I have a landscape photograph open. What I'd like to do now is to use this image to create a sketch from. To use this image, we're going to turn our attention to the Photo Painting panel. To open the Photo Painting panel, you will go to the Window menu and choose Photo Painting. The shortcut is Control-6 or Command-6 to open the, pa uh, the panel. We're going to start by making sure that we have our image inside embedded as a clone source. So what we're going to do is choose this option, number one, Use Open Image, and we'll select that. You'll notice now that the image has been added to the photo painting panel, and we can begin to use it to create our sketch from. We'll take a look at the Layers palette, and what I like to do is to add a new layer directly above the canvas layer, and that way it enables me to have a little more uh, flexibility on what I can do with that layer in terms of layer composite methods and adjusting the position and size of elements that might be on that layer. In order to be able to use this image as a sketch and to create a sketch from it, we're going to come down to this option number three called Paint by Hand. And you'll notice that there is an option called Show Tracing Paper. There are two ways to use tracing paper in Painter Essentials. One is by using the shortcut key, which is Command T or Control T, or simply by selecting the Show Tracing Paper option. And you can see that that's been activated here. When you begin your sketch, you have the option of using either the clone color from the source image or not. And if you don't want to use that, then you can simply uncheck this option called clone color. And then again, you can see your image by using the show tracing paper or using the shortcut. This option sets the tracing paper opacity for you. So if you need more detail coming through, move the slider to the left, and if you don't need it to be quite as strong, then move it to the right. On a new layer, then, you can pick up any brush that you want to choose uh, and that you want to work with. And in my case, I'm going to be working with a grainy cover pencil. And on the little color panel, I'll go ahead and select a nice gray value. And on this new layer, I can then begin actually tracing over and uh, getting, my, um, getting my image in. And I really enjoy drawing, so at this point, I would probably take quite a bit of time to develop my sketch. And then once my sketch is completed, I have the opportunity then to go on and work with different brushes to develop the full painting. Command T or Control T will toggle that tracing paper off and on. And I can just go ahead and continue to put in those areas of detail that, that I feel are important to this painting. Once I have my basic sketch in, a lot of times I like to add an overlay of texture on top of the sketch to give it a very, very uh, traditional and realistic uh, natural media look. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer above the sketch. And I'm going to pick kind of a mid, um, a warm white shade that's not totally white, but a little bit in between, has a little bit of a warm tone to it. And using the shortcut uh, Control-F 
or Command F, I'm going to fill that layer, that new layer, with the canvas color and select OK. Now, the next thing I want to do here is I want to apply a texture to this overlay. So we're going to come up to the Effects menu, go to Surface Control, and apply a surface texture. And we're going to uh, apply this based upon a paper texture. So when I open the flyout here, you'll see that there's quite a few different paper textures that you can work with. Um, for this one, I've gone ahead and chosen the worn pavement. And you may want to come down to the appearance of depth. And you can give this um, more or less textured effect um, you know, based upon, you know, what you prefer. And I think somewhere right around there looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and select OK. The last step would be to go ahead and change the layer composite method to multiply. And now you can see that I have a nice overlay of texture, uh, paper texture, going over my sketch. And at this point, I can begin my painting. So that's how you create a sketch in Painter Essential 6.